how my life before osteoporosis was um, about the same as it is now. Um, I'm a little slower, but uh, I th that comes with age anyway. Well, osteoporosis has, a, has had a huge effect on my family because both my first wife had it and I have it now. And so um, for me, I, I was diagnosed with it about 15 years ago. I was ice skating and I took a bad fall on the ice. And I, I, I thought I might have cracked a rib or something. So I went to my doctor and the doctor took an x-ray and when he saw the x-ray he said, you know, I think you may have some bone loss. So we better give you a bone density test. He gave me a bone density test and he said, Don, you have osteoporosis. The first signs I had of anything were um, immediately before I was diagnosed. So I started having, I went away on a trip with my husband and was um, canoeing and I couldn't walk. I was, I'd done something horrible with my back and I'd never had any back pain. And I was in pain and it never went away over, you know, several months. It would come and go, but it never really went away. And um, that led up to my diagnosis. I get back aches, but I always had something like that when I was younger, so I didn't think anything about the osteoporosis until I went this last time about a couple of months ago, and then it showed that it was it was uh, serious. It was my mother being with me who in fact broke a bone that, that took me to the point where I was thinking about my own bone health and what does this mean to me? And, and so that was the, the time at which I, I really did demand of my current uh, personal physician that he do a bone density test. Part of the reason that I, I believe I have, uh, that I got osteoporosis was that I was lactose intolerant and, and I stopped drinking milk, I don't know, when I was maybe 17 or 18, and probably lacked a lot of calcium growing up. In those years, I found out now, at the time I didn't realize it, but up until you're 32 or so, you're building mo bone mass. So like for 15 of those years, I was doing nothing. I wasn't taking any calcium pills or anything like that. So I think that was the period of time that really caused it. But at the time, osteoporosis was not well known, and I certainly knew nothing about it. So that's what I think part of it. And the, and the other part was that my mother already had it as well. My father had osteoporosis, broke both hips and his spine. Um, I'm small, small boned. Um, I started my period late. I was almost 16. And um, I had other factors that I didn't even know about at the time until after I was diagnosed. So I have quite a few of those risk factors. And my first question to him was, does that mean I have to stop skiing? And he said, you can't start anything new, but if you're careful, you can continue skiing. So that was, that was great, and I started taking medication right away. Compared to my asthma, which was life-threatening, the osteoporosis didn't seem to be life-threatening, didn't seem to be as important as, as it's become. So we just, we took it in stride, I, I think. Uh, I know some people get depressed, but uh, that didn't happen to me. It, just, it was just something else that we had to be aware of and manage. My mother was not happy about it uh, because she saw what happened to her. Um, but my wife, her first question was, can you continue skiing? And when I said yes, she said, well, then she didn't really care. I <laughs> mean, she was fine. And, and so, matter of fact, I was skiing yesterday. I actually went into a real severe depression, basically. I, you know, I'd gone from what I thought was a perfectly healthy 53-year-old woman, active, to I, I just was scared and really took a nosedive in terms of, I was just... I cried a lot, I didn't want to go out, I was scared to move, a um, lot of fear and, and depression. To be diagnosed with that, um, it, it sort of took away my invincibility at that point in my life and made me question about, you know, what was I doing that was good for, for me? Um, this, is, this is a period of time from, uh, it ranges from about 40, maybe 47 
through now, I'm, I'm uh, next month I'll be 67. So we're looking at 20 year kind of a range of things that occurred. And that, um, so I had to really look at, well, what am I doing uh, to make this all uh, in my favor? I had mixed emotions because I didn't know too much about it. In fact, I didn't know anything about it. I'd he heard the word, but so then I started checking on it and uh, my two adult children uh, went on the computer and uh, they didn't get too excited about it. Uh, they just said, well, what are you going to do about it? And I said, well, nothing. <laughs> you know, I, di I didn't think I had to do anything. Uh, and I didn't think it was going to get worse. I just thought, oh, it's something else. I'll take care of that one of these days. But uh, the doctor this time said that when he, he wrote on his uh, message to me was that it was serious. I said, oh, I have to do something now and find out more about it. After I was diagnosed with osteoporosis, I decided to learn more about it. So, I, you know, everybody now goes to the internet, and that's a great source. I did that, I asked my doctors, I've read some literature. One of the things that helped, the first thing was finding a really good doctor who was going to give me good care and give me good advice. Um, that was key because I hadn't had that before. And having that helped that whole issue of fear and, and made me feel like I could trust again in, in getting good advice and good care.